Well, hello there, everyone. Welcome to your morning coffee. My name is Eric. Thank you so much for joining me. So this is going to be a general energy reading for the day of Tuesday, October 23rd. Again, thank you so much for tuning in. This has become one of my favorite parts of my day. So it is officially Scorpio season. Woo! If you checked out the reading yesterday, it literally, came, it literally came out in the cards because we had um, the King of Cups, which often talks about uh, Scorpio. And actually in this deck that I'm using, which is the Beautiful Creatures Tarot, that um, depiction of the King of Cups actually has the Scorpio sim symbol and a scorpion on it. So that was pretty cool. But then also Death came out as the um, basically the overall theme of the day. And Death is the card of Scorpio. So that was kind of cool. Um, I know Scorpio season kind of came in for a bang, came in with a bang for me. Um, so just really quickly, I just want to talk about the pre-shuffle. So I was just doing a little bit of a pre-shuffle, getting the energy set, pulling on the energies of the day. Um, and we had the Nine of Wands, the Four of Cups, the Ace of Swords, the King of Swords, um, and one more. And now I can't remember. Um, but then underneath the deck, we ended up having the Emperor here, okay? So you could have dealt with something yesterday that was just a little bit of an eye-opener. Um, I know for me, you know, I kind of like... Uh, I kind of shattered a little bit yesterday. Um, but it was all in service of rebuilding. So that was that. So using my life as an example, the Ace of Swords with the King of Swords was, you know, um, it was a situation um, with the Four of Cups and the Nine of Wands. It was like um, uh, almost rejection, but um, unrequited love. Um, the Four of Cups is like a missed opportunity. Um, but then with the Nine of Wands, it was, well, the Four of Cups and the Nine of Wands was saying, in the face of any sort of rejection, maybe a setback, um, someone just not being responsive or something like that, um, don't allow that to stop you, uh, especially with the Nine of Wands. Keep moving, keep moving forward. But then with the Ace of Swords and the King of Swords, it's like understanding what that situation made you feel, okay? And um, how it made you feel and, you know, taking your power back and healing from that with the ace of swords um, and the king of swords it's not about being retaliate not it's not about retaliating it's about understanding the situation being as objective as possible about the situation learning from it and moving forward okay and then especially with the emperor here with the emperor here on the bottom of the deck this is all about autonomy this is being about the um, master of your domain um, understanding what it is you need to know so that you can move forward in the best way possible doing what it is you need to do you doing what it is you know you need to do to get the job done whatever that job may be for you whether that be healing whether that be you know handling your business handling your life whatever okay awesome so let's get into it guys yeah all right Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for today, Tuesday, October 23rd, 2018. Thank you so much, Spirit. Okay, so the theme for today is unconditional love, guys, because as soon as I finished that prayer, I saw pink surrounding the deck. And to me, pink symbolizes unconditional divine love. Um, so already what I'm getting is, uh, okay, I'm hearing rough shot and a lot, and the Knight of Wands, whoops, the Knight of Wands came out yesterday. And when I was, I was hearing that for that Knight of Wands, and thank you guys to all of you who placed who defined roughshod, um, which is basically their, you know, horses being fitted with, with shoes, with horseshoes that have spikes um, that allows them, basically gives them more traction, um, but also, you know, tears up the ground underneath them. And, um, you know, that phrase often talks about, you know, 
um, basically running over someone in a pretty destructive manner. Now, I kind of could see that in a positive light um, because we're surmounting, you know, we're, we're handling things, we're not really letting things get us down anymore, we're breaking through barriers, so that could be used in a positive way way okay but also it could be used in a negative way and for some of you I really feel like um, that is helping you to define how either you've road rough shot over someone else or a situation or how you may feel like that someone else or a situation may have done that to you okay so now with this pink energy that I'm getting there are a lot of us yes I'm seeing orange also now. So there are a lot of us that are dealing with the healing of those emotions of either actually having been, I mean, not physically, but like emotionally, mentally, um, feeling like you've been road ridden roughshod over. Um, almost, as, almost as if life has ridden roughshod over you. Um, but that's where the healing is coming through for that at this moment in time, especially in Scorpio season, this is a really great time. Use this energy to release, to transform from these things, from these experiences, um, especially with this full moon that's happening tomorrow, the, the 24th. Um, really use that energy of Scorpio and the full moon and also Venus in retrograde, to be honest, to release yourself from these energies and from these old patterns and to create something new, or at least create space to create something new, okay? Whew, all right, <laughs> that was a lot already. Um, okay, so Wednesday, I'm sorry, Tuesday, Tuesday, October 23rd, here we go. Let's get this shuffle going. Oops. Tuesday, October 23rd. Yeah, I'm really seeing orange, and it's no coincidence. Now, you guys probably know by now, I do not believe in coincidences, but I grabbed my orange mug here today because why? We're doing a lot of emotional healing and cleansing. Okay, well, I am, so I can only imagine a bunch of, a, a bunch of you guys are too. So, again, I don't believe in coincidences, guys. Okay. Just gonna get uh, two more shuffles here. Uh, Tuesday, October twenty third. Tuesday, October twenty third. All right, guys. Here we go. Let's see what we've got for today. Tuesday, October. 23rd, okay, that one, there you go. Tuesday, October 23rd. I'm gonna pull one, Let's do one more pull here. Aha, look at that, guys. We've got the magician again, and the magician came out yesterday. Okay, that's pretty awesome. Ah, and we've got the Hierophant. My, my, don't we have some things to talk about. Let's see what else we get here. Tuesday, October 23rd. Tuesday. There we go. Okay, we've got the paranoia. I'm in paranoia. Okay, and we've got the Empress here. Tuesday, October. All right, they're saying, and this card too. Okay, that's all. That's all for now. Underneath the deck, underneath the deck, we have the Six of Pentacles. So, balance uh, between give and take. I mean, this is like, this is really quite perfect. Okay, let's see here. Let's see here. We've got the nine of pentacles. We've got the two of pentacles in reverse. We've got the knight of swords in reverse. All right. Um, and then we have the paranormal. Now, the paranormal is a um, unique, is one of the two extra cards in this deck. The paranormal talks about curiosity, the whole thing of curiosity killed the cat. Now, in this card, you have three sisters. Two are kind of like the, the blonde and the redhead. They're kind of like the, I don't know, the good girls, um, the more sensitive one, the ones. Um, and then the older sister with the dark hair, she's more adventurous. She's more... 
we'll leave it at adventurous, okay? But they're basically, their home is being haunted and the sister with the dark hair is leading a seance and the two other sisters are kind of like, I don't know if this is really a good idea. And the elder sister's like, don't worry y'all, I got this. But at the same time, this is like, oh, maybe sometimes it's some things are left uncovered. Or uh, I'm sorry, are left covered over, are left undiscovered, right? Like, you don't really necessarily know what you're getting into here. <laughs> but so in this reading here, um, especially with now we have the Hierophant, the Hierophant here, and the Hierophant is in reverse, okay? So the Hierophant is in reverse can talk about learning. I'm hearing rough shot again. Um, but so what I was getting with the Hierophant in reverse is um, rejection of the status quo. Um, and this is in a big way, okay, especially with the magician. Um, the magician is manifestation, okay, and the magician, the magician came out yesterday, um, so, you know, we're still in this process of manifesting, of pulling in what it is we truly desire, um, and a lot of us are rejecting, or are starting to reject, I'll say the patriarchy, um, but this is more about, you know, society, the status quo, um, tradition, traditional values, not to say that we're throwing our morals out the window, <laughs> but just the traditional way of doing things. It really no longer serves a lot of us, um, and we're no longer even curious about it. So the, the, the what I'm getting with the paranormal here, um, and the Hierophant in reverse, both of these in reverse, a lot of us may have played into the dogma of the system or the dogma of society thinking, well, maybe they, maybe one day it'll work or, you know, maybe I should just keep going because you never really know what you'll find. The curiosity of the situation, always wondering. It's almost like a page of swords energy, but it's, I really feel like it's coming out as the paranormal, which is the extra card in this deck because sometimes when you go against your intuition, when you go against your truth and your integrity in, in order to, you know, appease the thoughts and beliefs of others, you often, you often get ridden roughshod because, you know what I mean? Like, or at least you may be left feeling like you've been ridden roughshod, all right? Um, and this is ridden over by this by society you've been trampled over you've been steamrolled over you know that kind of thing you've just been taken advantage of taken for granted okay so what we have on the bottom here this is like basically a continuation of this conversation you have the empress which is upright which is great again venus is in retrograde um so the empress to me really talks about venus and actually as she's coming out you know recently she's really been um symbolizing venus here and the abundance um the fertility that's around us all of us at this time um and even though venus is in retrograde this is still a great time to help clear and learn all right we have the knight of swords in reverse um in this deck the knight of swords symbolizes gemini now the Knight of Swords in reverse, I really feel like is a good energy, okay? This is an energy of not fighting, maybe not communicating, but in this sense, it's okay because any sort of communication that would come from the Knight of Swords would kind of be pretty destructive. Um, this is the releasing an energy of wanting to fight, okay? Um, we have the Nine of Pentacles, which is autonomy. This is independence to me. This is really breaking away from the mold, especially with the Hierophant and the paranormal in reverse up here. And the Nine of Pentacles here, I really feel like goes right, goes right along with the Two of Pentacles in reverse. The Two of Pentacles in reverse is talking about the balancing act, the juggling. Um, and to me, I really feel like we're releasing these energies of juggling. We're releasing the energies of juggling um, thoughts and beliefs that no longer serve us in order to be more independent and in more, in more service of ourselves and our own art autonomy. Autonomy has been coming out a lot. That's been a major word for a lot of us lately. Um, the Nine of Pentacles. Independence. In this deck, it also talks about rewards. And the Nine of Pentacles um, often 
to me, you know, is a very, is a, it's in a very abundant state of being. Um, basically, you have access to anything that you really could want. Um, just going to take this in for a little bit. But basically, this is a good energy right here. And this is all in service. Basically, all of this is happening in order to really manifest. Um, and this is not what I'm getting here with the magician. This is really not about immediate manifestation. This is really, especially with us being in Scorpio season, this is really getting down to the bottom of things. With Scorpio season and with Venus in retro retrograde here, this is about really getting down to the bottom of things and really doing some serious excavation, like clearing the crap out, okay? Because basically we're in service of um, balance in our relationships, in our lives with the Six of Pentacles, but the energy that I'm getting from the Six of Pentacles being underneath the deck, this is balance within ourselves. Are we giving to ourselves what we give to others. Are our relationships with others balanced? Integritous is what I literally just heard. And even though the Hierophant is in reverse here, and to me, the major energy that I was getting from it was about rejecting the status quo, the Hierophant in reverse is also about learning, whereas the Hierophant upright is about teaching, okay? So we are really learning through our curiosity and we could and some of you could have even like recently said enough seeking enough trying to fight against go enough trying to go against the grain some of us are just kind of like i'm done going against the grain i'm gonna i'm gonna do this i'm gonna go with the flow and that flow is your own natural flow not the flow not necessarily the flow that society or the status quo or the establishment dictates for you, okay? And that would definitely be that Knight of Swords situation. Someone coming in and telling you you have to do things a certain way or else. Or else what? Like, really, what's going to happen? Honestly, I'm independent. I'm strong. I'm strong-willed. I know who I am. And I know what I'm capable of. So you tell me, Mr. Knight of Swords, what is going to happen? You tell me, Mr. Establishment, Mrs. Establishment, what's going to happen? Are you going to, well, what, you're going to be displeased with me? And, and what's that going to actually do in my life? Well, you're going to make hell for me. Okay, but that's your karma. I did, did, did you have, well, who are you to come in? <laughs> who are you to come in and ride roughshod over me? There you go. There it is, guys. That's a pretty beautiful message. Um, I do want to get... Do I want to clarify things? Let's clarify the Hierophant and the Nine... And the... Um, well, I was going to say the Nine of Pentacles, but... I think uh, the Hierophant and the Paranormal. I want to clarify that for a little bit. Oh goodness, that didn't work. <laughs> Let's try that again. But also, we have the counterparts showing up. The Emperor was underneath the deck in the pre-shuffle. Oh, and that card that I was forgetting, I remember now, it was the Six of Wands. Um, so that was the victory. I know I'm jumping around, but um, the victory comes in understanding the truth about a situation and healing from it, okay? Um, that was coupled with the Ace of Swords and the King of Swords and the, and the Six of Wands. And then underneath the deck there was the Emperor. And now we have the Empress. So we've got um, counterparts, which is great. It's balance. So in the, in the pre-shuffle with the, the Ace of Swords, the King of Swords, and the Emperor underneath the deck, um, it was really about autonomy taking your power back, taking control of your situation, and of your life, and doing what it is you need to do to be successful. And now here, the Empress is coming through saying you have the abundance that you need to really do this. So that's fantastic. Okay. One more shuffle. Um, and then I want to clarify the Hierophant and the Paranormal. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Hierophant. Please clarify. The Hierophant and the Okay, there we go. There we go. Oh wow, that's a lot. And this one too. 
All right. Underneath the deck, yeah, look at that. You've got the Seven of Swords, and I just heard Sleight of Hand. Um, this is deception. This is stealing. This is lies, deceit, cheating. Um, and this really is a very much an energy of... It's very much an energy of... Um, um, you know, the, the patriarchy is what I hear. The establishment, uh, the status quo using their power instead of helping to just really help keep us in a box or tear us down, okay? Um, and then you've got a depiction of that here with the Five of Swords, okay? So this is shit starter energy. This is um, one-upmanship. This is definitely an energy of someone using any tool that they can to control, all right? Wow. Um, and then we have the King of Cups. Now, the King of Cups is someone who is really emotionally, can be very emotionally manipulative. And that's absolutely this energy here with the Hierophant and the Five of Swords. Now, that did not come out um, in reverse. It would be, if it were that, it would really be, re well, it, it could be that in the reverse. Like, it could be that manipulative, emotionally manipulative energy. Um, but it came out upright. And because of that, I'm getting two different energies. Um, it, well, the second energy that I'm getting with the King of Cups is emotional maturity. And so that's the maturity to stand up, uh, to stand against this Five of Swords situation here, this destruction, the lying, the cheating, and the Seven of Swords underneath the deck, okay? So next, um, clarifying all of that, I'm going to actually, these go here. So we've got the the Page of Cups, the Two of Cups, and the Chariot, okay? So autonomous is what I'm hearing with this, and this is gonna go with the paranormal, okay? Ah, yes. Um, I'll get to this card in a second. But, um, so with the paranormal in reverse, we don't have to question anymore. Why? Because we've come to a new emotional understanding of ourselves and of the situation. We've come into balance here. The Two of Cups has been coming out a lot, and as it's been coming out, it's really been symbolizing the balance between masculine and feminine, not just for me, but for others, okay? So this is internal balance. This is internal union. This is, I'm really getting an energy of, um, you know, being aware of who you are, being almost, not almost, being in love with who you are, being accepting of who you are, and not needing any sort of external validation, not needing the energies of um, support or validation from establishment, patriarchy, whatever. And that is allowing you to move forward in your life quickly. I'm hearing roughshod again. Now, if you are moving forward in a roughshod manner, I mean, Two wrongs don't make a right, I will say that. But also, it's not even about that. Like, I'm really, I'm seriously feeling an energy of just wanting to move away as quickly as possible, okay? This is, this is moving forward um, as quickly and as forcefully as possible in order to protect oneself, in order to protect one's autonomy. So if some... I mean, if you have to kind of trample over the patriarchy a little bit or the or the, the establishment a little bit to get yourself out of it, again, the emperor, which came out and which was in the bottom of the deck in the pre-shuffle, the emperor is going to do what he needs to do. And if, I mean, I, I, I really don't, I wish there was a different way for me to say this, but if, you know, if someone has to get hurt a little bit in the process, make sure you maintain your integrity um, and make sure you do it in a fashion where it's like, look, I'm not trying to hurt you. I'm just trying to protect myself. If you're not in a malicious, if it's not malicious, like to like say, okay, here's an example. If you need to move away from a certain situation, environment, whatnot, some people might get hurt in you wanting to move away. It's not like you're trying to do it. It's just, you're trying to protect yourself. Okay, so that could be a depiction of how roughshod, maybe writing roughshod may be coming through in your life, but maintain your integrity. Don't really try and hurt anyone. Malicious. Don't be malicious. Don't try and get back at someone. Just do what you need to do to protect yourself, to protect your investment, to protect what it is you wish to manifest in your life. Okay, and then the final card of clarification that came out, and this is going to go between 
the hero hunt and paranormal in reverse. You've got the tower in reverse. Okay? I mean, they're... Bang, bang, boom. <laughs> There's a tower right there. But it's in reverse. We're coming out of this tower moment. The tower is more Scorpio energy. Okay? This is Scorpio energy. This is also Mars energy. This is creative energy. All right? The tower is in reverse. Now, there could be some of you, there very well could be some of you that may be trying to resist a tower moment, but that's not the major energy here. The major energy that I'm getting is coming out of a tower moment. It's having survived and I'm hearing healed from a tower moment. And in that healing, a lot of us may have come to a, some serious emotional maturity with the King of Cups here, okay? So that's a beautiful energy. Um, and I love how Scorpio is coming out yet again, because <laughs> we are in the Scorpio season. For, I'm also picking up, for some of you, um, if you're not experiencing this situation yet, this energy yet, the tower in reverse is saying it's coming, okay? Um, and I really do not want any of you to be afraid of this tower moment. It's absolutely... If this, if this happens for you in this way, it's absolutely necessary. It's needed, okay? Oh, my heat just came on. <laughs> so I'm sorry. I'm going to try and speak a little bit louder um, if you guys can't hear me over the heat. But, okay. So next, we're going to get to the Oracle card for the day. And then we'll close out the reading with the Whispers of Love. Let's see what we got for today. Best message, please. Let me put this. Best message, please, for Tuesday, October 23rd. Best messages, please, Spirit, Tuesday. Tuesday, October 23rd. Tuesday, October 23rd. I'm going to be honest, a lot of us feel like we've been trampled over lately, and it's time to release that energy. So um, I know we're supposed to be getting into, the, into the, uh, the Oracle card, but this is coming through. The tower in reverse is you finally realizing or accepting the fact that you don't have to deal with this anymore. You don't have to feel like you're being trampled over anymore or like you're being steamrolled anymore. And that the tower could be in reverse. The resistance could be coming in. For some of you, it could be because, um, you know, the universe has been trying to get you to understand this for a long time, but you just kept giving in to the status quo. And it's time to stop doing that. Why? In service of yourself. Honor yourself. Honor who you are, not who, who others tell you to be, okay? Wow. I mean, that... They keep repeating roughshod in my head, and the Knight of Wands didn't come out, but that's an energy that we're dealing with right now, okay? All right, best message for today. October Tuesday. Woo! Three of them. I'm going to take them. I'm going to take them. Okay. Okay, from the first one is God of... Card number 40, Goddess Sarvati, Sarasvati, and Ammonite from world to world. Card number, haha, <laughs> yay. Card number is 27. 27 is a, a, a special number for me. Ascended Master, Saint Germain, and Amethyst, one of my favorite crystals, Amethyst, spiritual connection. Ah, ha, ha, ha. And then finally, we have card number 12, Angel Raziel, and... Peter's sight, <laughs> storm wisdom, very fitting. And I'm also being guided. There's a lot of oracle messages today, guys. I'm also being guided to take from the bottom of the deck here. That is a beautiful card. Um, but from the bottom of the deck, we have card number twenty-three, Ascended Master Jesus. Hi, Jesus, and Rosophia, meaningful sacrifice. Okay, let's read that one first. 
meaningful sacrifice. We bring you the blessing of meaningful sacrifice. To manifest your divine destiny, there are times when want must give way to a greater need. It may feel as though you are being denied the very thing that you yearn for the most. However, when meaningful sacrifice is being asked of you, there is far more generous and loving reality at play. What is being denied now will ultimately create the opportunity for far greater gain. This doesn't necessarily resolve the pain of unfulfilled desire in this moment, but it does soothe your soul with the understanding that if you feel denied, it is only so that your fulfillment can come about in a more extraordinary and generous expression in due course. That, sound, that feels very fitting. I know it's very fitting for me at the moment, so that's wonderful. Okay, I'm going to go to card number 27 now, even though it's in the center of the reading, just because it's easier to get to, yeah? Card number 27, Ascended Master, Saint Germain, and Amethyst, Spiritual Connection. We bring you the blessing of spiritual connection. There are times on your life path when you will feel alone. If you are working with, on an issue or going through a challenging time and don't feel particularly supported or that others understand, even though they may love you, that oh, sorry, then, then that sense of loneliness may increase for a time. Or perhaps you wonder if you are as spiritually connected as you could be. Perhaps you have been asking for confirmation of your divine connection uh, or for some sort of sign that, when, that what you think might be divine guidance is genuine. This oracle comes with a message. You are capable of conscious spiritual connection, and that connection is growing in power every time you talk to the universe through prayer or an act of devotion. You are also being asked to release any barriers around your heart and mind so you can allow the unconditionally loving voice of spirit to be heard in your heart and soothe your mind. This is definitely an energy of allowing your connection to source and spirit guide you, okay? Especially through any sort of transition that you may be going through, right? Okay, next we're going to go to card number 40 um, from world to world. And I really feel like this is talking about the transition that we're, a lot of us are going through right now. From world to world. We bring in the empowerment of world I'm sorry. Wow. I read that incorrectly. From word to world. Okay. We bring you the empowerment of word to world. What you speak of with intention, you shall manifest. You are blessed with the creative power of an open and activated throat chakra. As you release subconscious fear of speaking your truth, memories of being silent, and claim your true divine voice, your ability to change your world through your intention is amplified. You have the power of divine creation through sound in you. What you wish to create and experience, speak of with joy. This is absolutely an energy of releasing the stiflement, that, if that's even a word, that comes with participating in the status quo. Not upsetting, not upsetting the, the stability. Don't rock the boat. Well, um, guys, this boat is sinking. So I'm going to rock it because I'm trying to get the F up out of here. <laughs> that kind of energy, okay? That is beautiful. Finally, from the Crystal Mandala, we have card number 12, Storm Wisdom. Okay, we bring you the gift of Storm Wisdom. This is the fierce cleansing nature of divine compassion made manifest in the world. Storm wisdom thrills the spirit, for it understands that so much benefit and liberation will come from the process, yet the mind may quake at the prospect of such little control over how your life events are unfolding for a time. What is happening during an experience of storm wisdom is that anything that has become stagnant or obstructing to your spiritual growth will be uprooted. You may find that the divine storm of transformation powering through your life creates a feeling of upheaval, creative chaos, uncertainty, and excitement. You may feel simultaneously liberated and exhilarated, whilst also wondering if everything is going to be okay. You must remember that you will only be asked to give up something in order to receive that which is far more beautiful and supportive of your sacred life journey. You must also remember that the cleansing power of the storm will revitalize you, bring you fresh energy and perspective to take forward in your journey, and is a divine blessing which will only bring good. 
into your life. Quite honestly, I feel like that storm is damn near all of Scorpio season right now. That's, and I don't mean to like, to, you know, to speak ill of anyone that is born during Scorpio season, but I think you might understand what I mean. Um, and this is really a good thing. It's really a good thing. The storm is clearing away, is helping us cleanse. Okay. All right, guys. So Let's finish the reading with some oracle guidance from the Whispers of Love. All right, guys. So here we go. Best messages from the Whispers of Love. Please hear it. Whispers of love. Best messages for today, Tuesday, October 23rd, 2018. Tuesday, October 23rd. There we go. Oops. Okay. There's there's two of them here. There's two of them. <laughs> we have a mirroring message here. So first we have uh, do something for someone else. Give your attention to someone else. Now, I'm just going to say, especially in light of what we're talking about here um, with releasing the status quo, that's someone else, instead of giving attention to, to the status quo, give some attention to yourself. But then also underneath the deck you have um, receive with love and appreciation. Receiving something lovingly from others is a way of showing love. So that's a cool mirroring message. Um, to me, it's just really talking about giving, doing something for yourself here. And then we have card number 17, have patience. Love is patient and kind always. And that's absolutely mirroring this message of storm wisdom. Okay, we have to be patient right now with ourselves, with the universe, because there's a lot of changes happening. There's a lot of upheaval going on, okay? So it's, you, you really got to... <laughs> Really, you really got to be as patient as possible, guys. Okay. Okay. So there it is, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. And I hope you all have a great day. Um, much, much love. Uh, I am available for... I am taking bookings for private readings. Um, I'm not starting them just yet because I will be working on getting out the monthly Zodiac readings, or at least recording them this week. Um, most likely the monthly Zodiacs for November. Um, I think I'm going to put them out this weekend because the 31st, which is Halloween, the 31st is next Wednesday. So I want to try and get them out a little bit early. Um, so I'm going to be doing that. I'm going to be recording those today, or not today, uh, this week, probably Wednesday and Thursday. And then as soon as those are finished, I will be getting to private readings, but I am taking bookings. So if you would like a private reading with me, my information is in the description box below. Uh, all of the email, all of the readings that I offer are described down there. And then so just read through them, pick which one you'd like, send me an email. If you can't decide which one you'd like, you can email me anyway, and we'll talk about it and I'll help you decide, I'll help you pick which one might be the best for you. All right, guys. So there it is. Much love. I hope you guys have a great day. And I will see you guys for our next cup of coffee tomorrow morning. Yeah. Take care. Mwah. Bye.